Boys and girls, Ms. Miner here. Uh, last class, we learned how to draw our Mary Blair inspired castles. Well, today we're gonna add that bright, bold color that she was so known for. If you have watercolor paint or any kind of paint, that would really be the best. If you don't, couple of options. You can use food coloring mixed with water. That would be a great substitute for your watercolor paint. Or if you have a bunch of dead markers laying around, you can take the caps off and soak them overnight in some water to create some watercolor paint. It's probably gonna be a little bit weaker. Um, if you don't have paint at all or no way to make paint, um, use whatever you have on hand, crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have, okay? All right, let's get to the painting demonstration, okay? All right, boys and girls, today you are gonna want your paper that you drew last time, your Mary Blair inspired castle, um, an eraser, a brush, and a cup of water. And watercolor paints would really be the best for this if you have them. If not, you can uh, try the experiment where you soak some dried out markers in water and create some watercolor paint. Or you could use uh, food coloring in some water as your watercolor paint. Okay. Now, with this project, I want to limit you to, so we wanna use just four colors. They can be any four that you wanna use, but I want you to limit yourself to four. Sometimes it's good to work within some restrictions. All right, so I've got my watercolor paints. And remember, you dip your brush in the water. Okay. And then you take it to your paint and wet your paint a little bit. And then you can bring it to your paper. And you can start anywhere that you want. Try and stay inside your lines as best as you can. Now I also wanna challenge yourself, so I've put some blue here. Now before I switch colors, I want you to pick three other places that you are gonna put the same blue. Okay, so I put it up there. Let's see. I am going to put it here and then I'm noticing, whoops, I forgot to outline one of my spots. Just fix that real quick. All right, so here's my second place that I'm also going to put blue again. You don't want to smash your bristles down. You want to keep those bristles up in the air. Very gently, try and stay inside your lines as best as you can. Remember, this isn't a race, just work slow and neat. Okay, two other places. So, let's see, I'm gonna pick a third place to do this blue color. Okay, so now I've got that blue in three different places. I'm gonna gently Clean off my brush, which it would be handy to have some paper towels nearby to wipe your bristles off. Okay, so now I'm going to switch colors. I'm dipping my brush in the water. I'm going to go over to my paint. And I'm going to pick an area to make this bright green. All right, so I picked one area, now I'm gonna pick three more. So now I've picked my three areas to make a light green. 
and I'm realizing I forgot to tell you something. You should put some newspaper underneath your painting so you don't get the table dirty. All right, so next up, I'm gonna pick my next color. Surprising no one, it is purple. So I've got my four purple areas now. Now I'm gonna pick my final color. four colors selected. No, I don't have the whole thing painted, but I have some paint in certain areas. So what I want you to do now is stick with your four colors and just keep painting the towers. Stay inside your lines and spread the colors evenly throughout the towers. my Mary Blair inspired castle finish painting only using four colors um, sometimes it takes a little bit of effort to figure out well I need to put blue here and I can't put purple because there's already purple in that section and that sort of stuff um, you can see like, right here I had some bleeding because this area was wet and then, then I painted next to it um, you can prevent this by slowing down. Take two sessions to paint. Paint part of it, let it dry. All right, after you've let your painting dry, something that's totally optional if you have the materials is to add either some gold or silver. I happen to have some gold and silver Sharpies just for a little bit extra. I'm gonna take my gold Sharpie. And I'm just gonna add a few details on some of these sections. If you want to add some gold or silver to your picture, just make it just a little bit more like Mary Blair's. All right. All right, boys and girls, we just went through the demonstration. I want to say really like take your time work slowly. If you have to split it up over a couple of different painting sessions, that would be very beneficial. You'll get less bleeding like I just did when I tried to do it all at once. So paint some, take a break, let it dry, paint some more. I really want your nicest, neatest work. Okay, so here's my finished Mary Blair inspired castle. Okay, 
Again, the gold is totally optional if you have it. If you don't, don't worry about it, okay? Just do your best work. All right, boys and girls, I cannot wait to see your castles. So when you are done, snap a picture, message me in Dojo. All right. Talk to you next time.